Hi there, my name is Alma and this is Jurgen and you're watching Grasser Productions. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Gross Production with me, Andrea and Alma and Jürgen here from For I Am King. We are, we are in Schweinfurt today. Uh, thank you so much for taking your time before your show. Um, I guess that's your uh, last show of the tour here today in Germany, at least for a while, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. is. The, too sad that it's yeah. the last one, actually. Uh, sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's yeah. good to be home for some time now because we're gone for next uh, question like what do you do oh, now sorry. With days, days off i i think enjoy the family yeah that's it christmas. christmas almost christmas new year yeah that's it for me how about you uh actually the same i think yeah. just gonna chill relax we had a very busy month so mm -hmm. uh we're gonna have uh some relaxation <laughs> yeah reload the, the battery yeah. that's important <laughs> yeah do you need to reload it yeah, or could, it, you, could you still play some shows? Yeah, for sure I could play some shows, but it, it's pretty empty also. So yeah, you, you need a break? You know. A little break, yeah, because uh, a friend of ours uh, asked uh, like well, one hour ago, he said, yeah, are you happy to go home again today? And I said, I would love to sh uh, play shows the next weekend again. Yeah. You just but need a little bit. Yeah, you want to go, you want to go home, but you, uh, you just need a, a little bit of a reloading time. Yeah. But sure. I would love to play again, so I'm <laughs> still some energy over, right? Uh, <laughs> let's uh, talk a bit more about your true life. Uh, I saw some pretty cool photos in your socials. You've been traveling to uh, through China yeah, also. And Japan. How, yeah, how did it come to this? And uh, what? W how would you compare China to your uh, home country, the oh, Netherlands? Wow. <laughs> That's a really yeah, it's a difficult. difficult, very difficult. Uh, it was actually on our... Yeah, some kind of bucket list to yeah. be uh, to play in Asia, and uh, we had uh, the uh, first offer was from yeah, Japan. Yeah, we talk, uh, started talking with it within the band what uh, we want to do uh, this year to Wise, and Japan was on it. So that's what where we started to find a booker in Japan. Uh, yeah, and when we announced the Japan tour, the China tour got offered. So. And why was uh, Japan on your bucket list in the first place? Like, is um, it a s special yeah. country for you? For me, uh, the, it was already like I uh, wanted to go to Japan because of the whole uh, Hello Kitty, the sushi, uh, karaoke. Is it really uh, like that? Is it really? <coughs> like it is. Crazy? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but also, it? yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, you have, uh, yeah. I, I think we were there for five days and we played five shows. Yeah. So was it right? Yeah. yeah, and it was too short because we had uh, not so much uh, off time. So it was a little bit uh, go to the show, play a show, and then uh, go to the next day and uh, play again. And we went, I think, one day uh, to the uh, to the m m some kind of market, and there was a cat cat cafe, like, oh, a, really? <laughs> and I and the stuff you can buy, the stores, uh, the stores, everything is so crazy and. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I would love to go back again, definitely. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, yeah, it's totally different than no, not totally because there are people. It's a city. A lot of it's the same, but it's still a different culture. China and Japan are also quite different yeah, yeah. because they're Asia and quite next to each other, quite, but still so different than mm -hmm. what we're used to. How the people react, how the people behave in public how they yeah. behave in restaurants is, all, is different than we're used to yeah, in japan you have a lot of rules mm. like yeah. they're so strict in everything and i think it's it works very good yeah, yeah. i think you have like 101 rules only to how you use your chopstick sticks <laughs> so that's pretty insane <laughs> <laughs> and in uh, two 2014, you released your EP named Revengeance and toured uh, through Europe and China, as I already mentioned. Um, and as a matter of fact, you also performed at the famous Wacken Open Air here yeah. in Germany. Yeah. Those are huge steps forward in, in such a short time, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, was uh, 2015? Yeah, Wacken was 2015. And, and after that, we also played some other crazy festivals we didn't expect to, to play. It was insane. How did yeah. it come to this, then, if you didn't expect? I think just uh, keep your both feet on the ground and just work hard. Just keep touring. 
se- a sense touring, just not not touring before the, just touring for the touring, but also for to get at the right space uh, spots. But I think that's it. Just keep yeah. working. It was actually very crazy. Waka was yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was insane. Because we just started out, so it, uh, we were just uh, working on our band, our music, and then there was Wacken. Oh. It was pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And it was it's actually, so great. Yeah, it was like uh, uh, the day that we had to play, there was the b- huge storm. So yeah. uh, okay. like it was raining and there were some, uh, the uh, how do you call it, like mud, mud yeah. uh, till your knees. Wow. And then we thought, okay, the show is going to be canceled because uh, nobody can uh, reach the, the festival and we can't reach the festival. And we played, I think, uh, around one in the one or twelve. Yeah, around the, yeah. Around. in the afternoon. In the afternoon, and then uh, I didn't. The the curtains were closed, and I we didn't. I didn't actually no, watch to see if there were any people mm-hmm. at twelve uh, when it's raining and it's storming. Yeah. Sorry. And then uh, the curtains opened, and there was like a full house, really? like yeah. I think seven thousand. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Like, I don't it know, but it was <laughs> insane. It was yeah. crazy. <laughs> so it was uh, such an awesome experience yeah. to. Uh, and we hope to uh, do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's switch to your latest uh, debut album, Damon's, mm-hmm. uh, which has been released in June last year. Yeah. How long did you work on that album? Because, uh, I mean, it was your first work um, with really more songs on it. So I yeah. guess it was a whole new experience for you to record that album. It was. I think we started writing it in... Uh, we had, had some uh, rough ideas and we started writing it September 2015. And we recorded in like January to 16, mm-hmm. so we wrote it pretty fast. Yeah. Pretty it's fast. Like a six months experience, yeah. total experience, like uh, writing, uh, recording, That's releasing. Really yeah. Yeah, really fast. Uh, because we said to each other, yeah, we we had some ideas, we had some lineup changes, not many, just bass player, and then uh, we have to to put on a record, and then we got talking with Redfield record after our two first singles on also on Redfield. And yeah, we have to put out a record. Just write, write, Let's write, write, <laughs> and 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 worked. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what's actually the story behind the album and behind the songs and also the title? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, demons. Uh, yeah, we are actually uh, uh, wrote uh, the album. Uh, uh, we didn't want to do it like a very personal uh, album, like no uh, lyrics about your. Uh, daily stuff or uh, really uh, personal uh, stuff and uh, demons is all about uh, stories and myths from uh, the old uh, Greek 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 yeah, myths Greek. Myth- Some others. yeah we just want to focus on other things in life than all the sadness that is there yeah. so that that's the main goal for the, what's the main goals for, for demons yeah, yeah. So the songs are about uh, the Greek myths as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. How did you come up with the idea for uh, that topic? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, we discussed with our uh, old uh, bass player. Uh, he wrote uh, uh, the most of the songs, uh, the lyric lyric well wise, and um, uh, we talk about it like wh- what what do we want to uh, uh, sing about? What, what do I want to sing about? And uh, actually, also on Revengeance and uh, our other two songs uh, we released, uh, I didn't want to go personal. I really wanted to keep it like uh, uh, like the horror theme, like the f- uh, fictive, uh, fictive yeah. uh, kind of stuff. I really love that. Yeah. And uh, so we decided uh, let's do uh, some uh, crazy old uh, myths. Yeah. Uh, write about death and uh, let people choose their own uh, uh, story. Mm-hmm. Own Take the, yeah. Story. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's in- interesting. Like, mm-hmm. well, like different approach. Different to, yeah. to other or other bands and other yeah. songs. Yeah. Uh, Redfield is just a record label. They didn't oh. record it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we recorded it. Our bass player recorded it on our own. We we recorded almost all at home. Yeah. I think all. Yeah, we oh. recorded uh, the drums in like a room like this. Mm-hmm. Just set yeah. up and go. Yeah. And, uh, the vocals uh, we did uh, in a practice room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, actually, the whole uh, recording, uh, mixing, production is uh, from our own. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and it worked, worked out good for you? I think so. Yeah, was yeah. it easy? 
No, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was a quite. It was an interesting experience. Yeah, I think it was good to do it like that to experience in the way we did. Yeah, because we did also the vocals were recorded. There were uh, ten songs with the vocals on it, or nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Yeah. And uh, uh, we recorded in two afternoons, like all all songs. So it was like, oh, oh, go, 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 yeah. go. And it was a little bit stressful for me, to be uh, honest. But uh, for your voice. Like yeah, really for the voice. But yeah. Record that fast. Yeah, because you have to do, you have to, there is no time to, uh, uh, yeah, to think or to experience the yeah. whole, mm. uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, recording mm. the situation. Uh, so, I think for the next record, it would be uh, we will do it a different way. Yeah. But I think for the the rest of the the guitars and the drums was very nice and easy mm-hmm. because you had uh, the time to choose uh, yeah, the choose uh, the song. place yeah. and uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. So and Redfield Records is your label yeah. then. And how did you how did it came uh, that you have a German label? Uh, boy, we we thought because Netherlands is quite small there. Uh, quite a lot of metalheads but uh, and we thought Germany is quite close to the Netherlands so maybe focus also focus on Germany uh, and I already knew Redfield from some releases I like so uh, we got in contact with them when we released Revengeance but we wanted to release Revengeance free mm-hmm. for the yeah for the people yeah. uh, and then we Get, got in touch again for the two singles like this is warning we of demons and they released it on uh, redfield digital and then we got talking about the the full length mm-hmm. so that's that's the connection yeah uh let's come to a whole different topic uh your band sometimes gets entitled as a female fronted metal band yeah. as you are the front woman Amma, how do you feel about that is it does it show strength uh, and like female power to you or is it rather just another mm. thing uh, thing that's still focusing on your sex in, um, in, in a kind of categorization yeah this question is actually uh, uh, yeah so a lot of people ask uh, ask this uh, to uh, to me yeah uh, but I think uh, we're as uh, for I'm King we're focusing on our music like the metal music that we're making and i think personally uh, personally that there hasn't be it doesn't have to be a subject or a, no. uh, like a it's a female fronted mm-hmm. band um uh, i must i sing i do my thing and uh it doesn't matter that, as, that i'm a female and yeah. i the term I, I i get the term because i'm a female i'm i'm the the singer of the band so it's uh something it's logical that they call it female fronted but i don't if it's if I have to choose, I wouldn't say female fronted. I would just say a metal band yeah. because uh, I'm not the only one who's making this music, and I'm not the band uh, we are with uh, for uh, other uh, musicians, very good musicians. I'm very proud of my bandmates, and I don't want to get the only focus or the only attention. No, no, yeah. not at all. Yeah, I can understand yeah. that. Let's talk a bit about your future and go forward way back in future. Yeah. Where would you like to see yourself in, let's say, 10 years? Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's I'm hard. I don't even know what I'm <laughs> going to be in 10 years. Maybe I don't even Caribbean. know what I'm going to do <laughs> next year. No. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, it, if it's possible to look that far ahead, but just be able to continue with the group we are now yeah. and writing music we love and touring how we want to where we want to it doesn't matter if it's for big stadiums or club shows or it doesn't matter if we still love it we keep doing it i think that's it Mm -hmm. uh, yeah of course yeah actually uh for me as well i will i hope that we uh uh, stay in this formation that we are right now uh and i hope we will see more of the world with uh, for i am king and Actually, I hope that uh, we will get uh, more uh, people, uh, uh, the attention attention yeah. of more people of uh, the music we're making because we are not making it uh, only for ourselves. Yeah. We, uh, of course, we want to uh, uh, spread yeah, and yeah, share yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the metal that we are doing. So I hope we will be. Uh, yeah, maybe we will sit here uh, somewhere else again yeah. and <laughs> we'll talk that we are played back in uh, open air again <laughs> and <laughs> other awesome festivals. We two to the moon. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well, well, let's stay a bit in the future, but uh, more like in the closer future, mm -hmm. hopefully. Uh, are you already planning um, on some more music videos more to your album uh, Demons? Um, I think you have one. Uh, yeah, true. We have one uh, video. We have a lyric video. Uh, I think we maybe we're releasing a video for Demons, but probably not. It depends a bit on how we are continue writing the new album yeah. and if it fits our schedule yeah if we want to release another another video but i don't think so okay. <laughs> and because you already mentioned it now um uh are you already working on some new music yes. and, and what can you tell us about it already it's new <laughs> it's music. So. It's female front end. Female front end. <laughs> it's metal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, We're actually right now busy uh, writing uh, for our second album. Yeah. And um, I think that's that's it. So yeah, Elvie, it, can it, you it, tell it, a little bit more yeah, about it? It will be maybe a bit different than Demons, but still quite the same. Is there still going to be a, uh, like a story, like like with a Greek myth or something different? Um, I think uh, lyric-wise it's going to be different. different. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. More personal maybe this time? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, wait, I just have to switch my cards. <laughs> uh, what are your plans for after the tour now that you're, uh, and, f and for the next mm -hmm. year, because well now it's Christmas and you're yeah. going home, but yeah. uh, I've heard that you guys are going to play at the, uh, with Full Force yeah. Festival in Germany uh, next year. And what, what other really big cool. plans do the, you have? The, the main plans are for now that we play Eurosonic, like uh, in Netherlands, uh, mm -hmm. a f small fest, of, no, a quite oh, big yeah. festival. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then continue writing the album. So uh, we thought it was smart to take a little bit of time off to write the album and focus on uh, not just playing shows. Uh, and then we have another show which we're gonna announce pretty soon in the Netherlands. And then with full force, maybe uh, maybe a tour, but I don't think so. And then hopefully a new album. We played quite a lot of shows uh, this year for uh, like a part-time band. Yeah. Let's yeah. say it British. like that because yeah. we're all full-time workers. Uh, so the the upcoming period is mainly focused on writing oh, and really? preparing the new yeah. For I'm King future. And what do you work back home? Because you're a, like a part-time band. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a visual merchandiser and I don't know if you know what... Uh, what it's not really but could you explain it yeah it's like um i'm uh, building windows for oh, a shop yeah, yeah i know what yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. Uh, right now i'm not doing that yeah. uh, i have a little break uh for myself mm -hmm. and jurgen is i'm an engineer <laughs> yeah for uh, I, I work for the government the city of den haag mm -hmm. yeah nice and the other band uh yap is self-employed he has uh just launched his website for uh, website designs and other design yeah. stuff Studio. so mm -hmm. visit our facebook and check him <laughs> uh kuhn is still in college like student mm -hmm. uh, and wouter is what is he he's a mad man <laughs> i don't know the name of the in english <coughs> psychology Psychologist. Yeah, psychologist. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're definitely looking forward to hearing some new information on yeah. the new album and uh, about your plans for next year. Uh, and once again, thank you for the interview and have a blast on the stage yeah, later you. on on your last show in Germany, yeah. at least for this year. Have yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Thank here. You. You're welcome. Very welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> <Tschüssi>. <laughs>